Um, I didn't used to cry like this before the uh, chemotherapy. I don't know what it did to my uh, brain. What can I say except um, I want to congratulate the Fix Foundation and the selection committee for the quality of the person they chose for the award this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, uh, somebody asked me a few, uh, a couple of years ago, if I could name the top three pediatric cardiac interventionists in the world today. And you know what? I can't remember the names of the other two. <laughs> but seriously, um, I'm very, very lucky. I've had a, a great career, and that's been largely responsible for all of you who've looked after me and allowed me to indulge myself. And I too have learned incredible amount from from you all. Even the, the most junior people can make a, a very good comment. And uh, I've been lucky to have had uh, some great fellows, uh, half a dozen of whom are here today, who've encouraged me and been very positive about the things we've done. And when things didn't go well, too, they uh, you know they helped me sort of look after that. Um, I think so. I'd like to thank all of you. I can't do that individually, but this is the most important person I need to thank here. Yeah. You, you all, every single one of you, um, spend time in the hospital which might otherwise have been spent at home with family and, and loved ones. And uh, I can't thank Meredith enough for never ever once um, making me feel I was, which I was of course, impinging on family life by being in the hospital all night or all day or at weekends. And without her support, I'd have been absolutely nothing um, since medical school to uh, to right now and also through my um, treatment of chemo and radiation. So, sweetheart, thank you. And well betide anybody who stands between a conference organization like this and lunchtime. So I think, <laughs> so I think I'm going to say, Thank you very much. Thank you. Don't have lunch.